Hello, my name is Stu Wisson and welcome to FinancialSpreadBet.com. In this video I'm going to discuss briefly what trading versus investing and what the differences are because sometimes they're confused. Now trading and investing are sometimes seen as one of the same thing but in fact they are both very different aspects of financial trading that are cut from the same cloth. In terms of making money from the financial markets, but both have very different methods. Yet, it is seen as a common misconception that trading and investing are the same thing, whereas in fact this could not be further from the truth, as we will discover. So first let's discuss the point of trading and investing. While well, the primary goal for both of these is to, to basically to make money. And uh, this is the goal pure and simple. Now how they both go about that is somewhat different. Investing, however, usually takes a longer term view with potential profit that is usually very measured and based on fundamental data. Now there's an article in my blog uh, about fundamental analysis. And also be involved in anything from financial markets to property, wine, art and more. Whereas trading is more speculative, 99% uh, of the time short term and based heavily in the financial markets. The analysis is usually technical, again there's another article in this blog about technical analysis. And the potential profit, although calculated, is far from guaranteed and there is of course a far greater risk of loss. What then could you say are the advantages of trading or investing? They, are both, they both have many advantages and disadvantages. In fact, it has to be said, it's good advice to at least have some form of long-term, more secure and calculated investment regarding, uh, regardless of whether you trade or not. You do not place all your eggs in one basket and hope that they all hatch to be golden egg-laying fluffy things. Now, certainly with trading, the rewards are certainly there. But as any trader new and old alike will attest, they are not without risk. Investing provides... Uh, provides a measured, somewhat secured, longer-term financial gain in the markets that are very diverse and provide some degree, at least, in the long term of protection against inflation and eventual financial gain overall. Now, trading really, in a nutshell, is the method of using technical tools and other forms of analysis to judge whether a price movement in the financial markets is likely to continue or change in its current direction and what if any is the best way to take advantage of that for your own profit. Now by using your own skill and judgment you'll be able to assess the best point of entry, your exit and your projected profit from that. Now most of the time traders uh, are, trades are usually short term by nature and require a good amount of monitoring, adjustment and analysis to gauge whether the trade is on track for target or reaching a point of acceptable loss based on money management that you already have set. Now there is potential for very quick gain in as much as there is potential for there being equally quick loss. Nearly all trading is leveraged, meaning that the amount staked is a tra in a trade is geared heavily against small movements in the actual underlying market, resulting in a small movement on the market which could result or will result in a larger movement, positive or negative, on that trading position taken. Now investing usually, 99% of the time, requires a need for a longer term view to remain positive in outcome. In other words, the investment needs to grow in value regardless of what that investment is. Whereas with trading, certainly with, der deriv with derivatives, it, it does not matter whether the market is going up, bullish, or going down, bearish. As you can buy into the market with the expectation of it going up in value, going long, or sell the market with the expectation of it going down in value, going short. Now for traders, it's not about what they are trading ultimately. It's about finding a derivative that has an underlying that provides the opportunity to make a short-term profit, regard regardless of whether it's going up or down in value. And you can read other articles that I've written about derivatives. So what it really comes down to is what is right for you. Now we all, of course, are very different. Otherwise the world would be a very boring place, as we all know. 
Yet when it comes to whether to trade, as we all should, in, or, or whether we should all invest to a greater degree rather than lesser degree, the option to trade really comes down to who you are as a person. Now, trading really isn't for everyone, yet many believe they could do it. Certainly lately, with the news showing traders making huge gains and subsequently huge losses, it does lead to the opinion that anyone could trade and do the former and hopefully not leave with the latter. In fact, personally, I do believe that some of these so-called professional traders should not actually trade at all, simply because they do not have the mental makeup to trade. Now, from experience of, of knowing and training younger traders over the years, it is, it is these young guns that worry me the most, as they tend to be attracted to the money, which we are, all are, of course, but also see trading as a lifetime, which again it can be, but one in which these guys, and they happen to be usually guys, tend to have a twisted, inaccurate view of what a successful trader is. Now, their views are of the common misconceptions that traders wallow about in wine bars, getting drunk, running up huge bills, and driving fast cars all over the place. Also acting in a similar gun-ho attitude to trading as well. Now, I've always, always thought that anyone that is trading with other people's money, whether that's clients, banks, or otherwise, should not be allowed to trade until they're at least 35. I know how bizarre that sounds. But till then, they trade virtually, learn the markets, do their analysis, learn, develop, and are mentored and paid a basic wage. Then at the age of 35, they are then allowed to gradually, uh, allowed a gradual limited access to trading funds. Now, I know this sounds sort of pretty weird way out there, and many would just disagree with me, certainly <laughs> those younger traders. However, most of the trading mistakes and losses accounted for I am sure are because of lack of skill, analysis, respect for the markets, and maturity, which all have come about with age and experience. Whereas the best traders that I have ever trained over the years have always been over 50, and are not trading with money that they rely on, and are more willing to learn, understand, develop, and with, with the longer term view. And this accounts also for women as well, because women do make exceptional traders, and I do know this for a fact. But I digress a little. The point I was laboring is, is that some people that are mentally adept at trading than others, and it's not about intelligent or what degrees you hold, it, and, it, it, and no, it's not your ability and makeup to deal with the view of trading. It, it, sorry, it's to do with your mental ability and makeup to deal with the view of trading as a business. But it's not about immediate short-term gain. It's about making sure your gains overall are greater than your losses. It's making sure that you continue to learn, develop, and grow. That when you are not well or stressed or you do not trade, it's about understanding yourself as a person, your mental makeup. Now, are you someone that reacts calmly to bad situations? Now, are you someone that has an eye for detail? And uh, are you someone that can see the big picture? Also, are you someone that either runs or would like to run their own business? And finally, are you someone that can be committed to something even when it's not going his or her or you, your <laughs> way? Now, there are many questions you should always ask yourself as to whether you should look to learn to trade or not. Note that I say learn to trade first. This is by far, by far the first step that you should take. What I do find alarming is the amount of people that come to me after they have already started trading and are making losses. Now, it's good that they have finally realized and, of course, they've come uh, to me to be directed. And um, usually my first bit of advice there is to stop trading and learn first. Now, if you're new to trading and want to learn more, you can learn a great deal from the ever-increasing articles on this website. Do that first. Open a demo account, learn, grow, develop, and see if this is for you way, way before you decide to put any of your hard-earned cash into any real trading.